Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, May the 30th, 2013. Uh, we're going to take a look at silver. And this is the long-term monthly chart of silver. And uh, back here in 04, uh, we uh, uh, had our first correction here. It was a 34% per, uh, percent correction in 21 months. And then we ran up to a high of 15.20, and we had a 19-month correction uh, with a 37% uh, fall. Rose out of that base, <coughs> and then had a massive, uh, uh, almost 61% correction in 31 months, coming off of 21.44. And actually, the low here undercut the previous low of this base. So this was a nasty correction. And uh, and then we eventually broke out of that, <coughs> and uh, and have run up uh, here in um, <coughs> the spring of 2011 and peaked out almost at $50 an ounce, <coughs> and now we're sitting in a <coughs> another large correction. Uh, this one so far is 59%, and uh, it's been uh, 25 months uh, since the previous uh, peak uh, back uh, in uh, 2011. So here we are, um, <coughs> sitting below all the major uh, uh, moving average lines, uh, chart looking like it wants to go lower. Um <coughs> but, you know, it's always darkest bef uh, before the dawn, as they say. And, um, you know, so far, uh, buying the dips has been a great strategy. Now, will we come down and take out this previous low at $8.40? God, I, I hope not. But uh, certainly uh, starting to see some uh, higher closes, uh, uh, monthly closes coming up off of this uh, $20 mark. Actually got down to $20.25. Uh, would certainly be bullish. Uh, getting back above these key moving average lines here, converging at around $30, would also be a great sign.